The Rawlings KHSAA State Baseball Tournament began today with 15th Region Champion Johnson Central facing 7th Region Champion Highlands in opening round play. We'll pick this up at the top of the sixth inning with Johnson Central's Josh Hitchcock on the mound in relief of starting pitcher Braxton Kelly facing a two-out jam. Highlands would execute the suicide squeeze to perfection, allowing the go-ahead run to score and all hands safe. Highlands would take a 2-1 lead. Hitchcock, though, would settle down to record this swinging strikeouts in the frame, keeping the Golden Eagles close. Bottom of the sixth we go as freshman Grant Davis slaps the ball to third, but the throwing error here allows Trevor May to break into the boogie fever. Turn it around third, big boy. He's going to bring it on home to score, and we're all tied up at two. Golden Eagles weren't done just yet. Tate Mead is going to come up next at the dish. And deliver this RBI single. And it's the first lead that Johnson Central has enjoyed the entire afternoon. As Davis comes around to score. And yes, stand there and admire it, big boy. Putting his team out in front with that single. Now, Johnson Central is still going here. This infield single will keep the inning alive. Runners at first and second with two out. Now, back-to-back -back walks would load the bases and force another run in. And Johnson Central, hey, they scored five runs in a breakout party in the sixth inning. And the final two runs crossed after Highlands would commit their fourth error of the game. Nerves breaking down late. Here's the hit. And then the turning throw. It almost hit our camera girl, Michaela, who was there today. The umpires will allow the other run to score. That puts the five on the board in that inning. Josh Hitchcock would come back at the top of the seventh and strike out. The final Bluebird in the top of the seventh, and the Golden Eagles move on with a 6-2 win over Highlands. Now, the win today gave Johnson Central baseball coach Sean Hall his 300th career victory as the Golden Eagles move on to quarterfinal round action Saturday at 1.30 when they will face McCracken County.